get your money and get out the game. Get your money and get out the game. Get your money and get out the game. Get your money. Walking, Liberty chasing birds. Come on, beautiful. We haven't been around this much space since we've been here. Yeah, <laughs> we're in Jersey City. We're in Jersey. Jersey City, Jersey. So, one of the fun things about traveling is uh, that you get you get lost, mm -hmm. but you find your way back to where you're going. And so we got a bit turned around today because we were using Google Maps, and I don't know why it told us to take this particular route. But we took we took two trains mm -hmm. and a light and rail. a light rail, and we left from Brooklyn where we were, all the way to Jersey City, New Jersey, just to get to the Statue of Liberty. Mm -hmm. So this is an actual correct route to get there, but it's from Jersey. Yeah, it's just a long way. So we're walking now, you guys, to get to a ferry. Yes. To get to the Statue of Liberty and. Usually we go through Battery Park, yes. which is in Manhattan, which would have took us no time to get here. Yeah. And so we're going to do that way going back. We'll be going to Harlem today. Harlem, baby. But the weather is really nice. It is. It's not too hot out here. And like I said, we're just enjoying all this space. We were just joking <laughs> with each other <laughs> when we were trying to decide um, where our next move would be. Yeah. We did kick around the idea of moving to New York. We were like, nah, <laughs> it's, too, it's too expensive. And it's too many people, you know, yeah. it's too congested. But Jersey apparently was the more family part. Even though Jersey gets a bad rep, people well, say Well, Newark does. Newark. Because Newark does have a high uh, crime population and stuff like that. And I've heard it said that it's dirty, but it's not. Yeah. Was nice. This part that we're in is really nice. This is really nice. Let me let you guys see. Oh, see. Liberty's enjoying herself. Yeah. But look at this. Beautiful. Yeah, it's park right here. This is a Liberty State Park that we're walking in right now. Yeah. I didn't even know they had a national park here. Maybe I didn't even. Whew. All right, y'all. Well, we'll check in once we make it to the ferry. Hey. We made it. All the way back. Up. All the way back. We made it. We made it. We made it, Liv. Let's do it right here. Hmm. 
We made it. We made it. We made it, Lil. All right, we're here, y'all. We have made it here to the front. This is really cool. Did y'all hear about the lady that tried to scale this library, uh, this library statue a couple weeks ago? Mm-hmm. That's pretty silly. Yes, yeah, she, well, she said, well, I read, actually, it was on Instagram, though, that it had to do with all the immigration stuff going on. Yeah. And she was, you know, trying to protest uh, for some of the people that have been affected by that. So. Yeah. We use our platform for what we can, so yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're um, experiencing a really nice breeze right now. Yep. And Libby got a really good picture of the Statue of Liberty, didn't you? But what's going on now with you? She's hungry. Just had a little cute bar. Just ate. She's but she's hungry. Ate. She's always hungry. <laughs> That's because she's always on the move. She's an yeah. energetic child. Yeah. So we putting that to the test with all this walking we doing. Mm -hmm. We did 15,000 steps yesterday mm -hmm. and I, I'm pretty and sure we've hit 50, we'll hit 15,000 today. For sure, yeah, and we can feel it. Oh, I'm so glad we have our sneakers, y'all. Yeah. That was we, a great idea. Yes, babe, we have been walking. We walked when we didn't know we were gonna have to walk. Yeah. But um, we thank God that our stamina is, you know, is going well. Sneakers. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people do have sneakers. Some people have sandals, yeah. too. I'm gonna I'm gonna test it to some vegan superpowers <laughs> that we've gained since being vegans. That's why we're not tired. Yeah. Because I, I this would have been tough <laughs> a couple years ago. But we got we got vegan superpowers. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. But, um, so we're gonna hang out here just a little bit longer, and then we're gonna get on the right ferry that's gonna take us back to New York. Yes. Because we came in through a Jersey ferry. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how that even happened. So. Yep, and then we're gonna find something to eat yep. and head to Harlem. All right, y'all. Just glad to be here. I have a little package on top of my head. Hi, gorgeous. She's been such a trooper. We told her we're gonna do something special for her when we get back to Atlanta because she's been a trooper. She's walked with us the whole way. This is like one of the first times we've actually had a carrier. But we're here at Liberty's namesake. Um, if you've been following the channel for long enough, you know that uh, we, la we named Liberty because of our affinity for New York. Uh, but we also, there's a scripture in the Bible that says uh, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So that's also the inspiration behind her name. But Liberty, how does it feel seeing your namesake again? I don't know if we'll be able to do that. <laughs> but we'll get as close as we can. Hey, that bird pooped. It did? Yes, sir. I saw it. Something came out of its bum bum. Then I realized it was poop coming out of its bum bum. <laughs> That's part of nature. You see the ocean water? Yeah, why are kids so fascinated with stuff like that? Like, if I say, oh, excuse me, then Libby be like, what just happened? What did you do? <laughs> Hilarious. Party. Uh, Hush, girly. So peaceful. Oh, look, right here, people have written their names here. Where? Right here, different names and years they came here. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, hands up. We'll take a ball. Everybody, take a ball. Thank you. That's our show. God bless. Thank you. All right, y'all. So we're here in Harlem in front of uh, Two Brothers Pizza. And I just want to appreciate it. And uh, I just want to tell a funny story right quick. Mm -hmm. Someone just told me I had a nice camera. I said, appreciate it. Don't get no thoughts though. Okay. Because we saved, but I still put these hands on you. <laughs> anyway, funny story right here is uh, I literally went that way to do something. My baby went inside. We didn't have Liv at the time, right? No. It was our first time here. And uh, a brother tried to run up on my baby and uh, spit some game. Yeah. 
True story. True story. And I, I walked up, and then he acted like he was uh, selling something, uh, Jehovah's Witness. Something. Yeah, he tried to change it up. He tried to change the subject up. I, said, I was I like, yeah, I don't stuff. know. I have to ask my husband, you know. Um, but yeah, we they have like um, dollar slices of pizza, y'all. So yeah. we used to eat those back in the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Libby's tired, y'all. Libby's super tired. Yeah, we're almost to our place where we're going to eat, yep. which is, uh, what is it, babe? Uh, we are going to Uptown Veg. Yeah, which we've been here before. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the exact same way. Ooh, look, babe, there's the incense and everything. Yep, yep. And the oils. We'll come back, we'll come okay. back. Harlem, baby. It's so grimy here, y'all, but it's just something about being here, especially being around our people, you know, it's just, it's so warmth that's here. Yeah. And some really good, really good vegan Ital food too. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. We're taking it with you guys in a little bit. In fact, somebody asked about this camera. Tell me, I need to put my camera. Put the up. camera. Up yeah, here. for sure. So we in line here at uh, Uptown. Food is so good. It is so good. It smells divine in here, y'all. It does. It does. Harlem. Everything in here is vegan. You see, look at that. A couple of classics here, but then a, little, a couple of uh, things you've never seen before. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, that looks good. It does look good. Food by the pound. Yeah. Mama, I'm hungry. There you are. Liberty, how do you like your vegan chicken? I love it. <laughs> now look at this right here. This is a fried eggplant right here. Doesn't it kind of remind you of a uh, um, funnel cake almost. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. It's not. It's not a chicken at all. It's completely vegan, and it's completely delicious. Liberty just tore hers up. Delicious. Come here. Right here. <laughs> There's an art form to this. Now this is what it starts at, but this is how it finishes food with us. <laughs> so they use a little wooden stick and then they put the um, protein around it, plant-based protein around it. Sometimes it's soy, uh, I believe this may be soy, but they say they use non-GMO products here, including their soy. So let's see if it tastes just like a chicken wing that we remember. Mm. Turn it over, babe, so I can see the inside. Look. Mm -hmm. Just like chicken. Isn't that crazy? It's amazing what people do with plants, what you can do with plants, and you really have no excuses why you couldn't give the vegan lifestyle a try. You love wings, we got you covered. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, this is, y'all, look at this Ruby Bridges right here. Tribute. We saw it on our way of, we're in Harlem of course still, on our way headed to um, my favorite fabric shop to show y'all in a minute. This is a really dope artwork here. Alright, so I told you guys I was going to show you where we're going next and it is that amazing place over there. I think it's Kaata Imports African Fabrics. So many of you guys are always asking where I get my hair wraps from. I don't have one on today even though I usually do. But this is the place where it started. Um, many, many years ago in college when we came here, we went to this shop and we've been coming every single time we come to New York and they have fabric, y'all. One yard is usually $7 the last time we came, which was two years ago, so hopefully it's still the same. They usually give us a deal for $5 since we've been coming um, throughout the years and supporting them. Um, but we are in beautiful Harlem, y'all. The Apollo is down this way. We'll show y'all that in a little bit. And y'all, can you believe in Harlem that there is a Whole Foods? Even two years ago when we were here, that Whole Foods wasn't here. That's a Victoria's Secret over here, y'all. Marshalls, Starbucks. We saw that last time, but it's crazy just how much Harlem has changed. But nevertheless, we are glad to be here now, babe. Let's look at my fabric. Right, let's go. Hello. Good. Hello. Ooh. We've been here all the time. You probably don't remember. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My, my boy and my pop. Yeah, I remember. You yeah. remember us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to always ask us where we get our material from. We're on yeah. YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. So we're telling people where they can come get their material. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe getting some fans. How's it feel? 
It feels like the air conditioner. It feels so, 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 so nice and cool. Cause, cause didn't you know earlier, or a few seconds ago, I mean a few minutes. Thank you. Yeah, minutes. Then um, then we um, we were walking the whole way to um, it was like um, oh, the Statue of Liberty. Yep. Yep, and it was a long walk, like. Uh, yes, five me five hours. Yeah, we did quite a bit of walking. Yes, and we got sneakers. Walking sneakers for walk, walk, walking. And Daddy just ran me, and it feels so good. But guys, we're gonna go with your walk. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm? I mean, you're going to need to change the region. Yeah. Come on. I can't believe it. You know, I forgot that we got uh, this, this, this particular necklace. We've had this for years. And I completely forgot that we got it from here. I have my eye on one of these, this one right here. I have my eye on. This seems real manly and very uh, Mansa Musa-ish. You know, like it's gold, it looks gold, but it just looks a little different. It looks very okay, uh, majestic, regal, African royalty, you know. I love it. All right, y'all, we're done. We're about this to head to the Apollo right now. But I do want to say quickly that we asked uh, one of the owners how was business for them here uh, when Black Panther came out. And he said it was crazy. <laughs> so that is super dope that, you know, when the movie came out, that people were really hunting for uh, African anything. So, of course, we rock this kind of stuff all day, every day. We try to incorporate it in our everyday clothing. Um, but it's good to know that when those times happen and I'm hoping that there's a Black Panther 2, 3, and 4 that uh, businesses like this continue to thrive. Crazy. You're talking about uh, Sylvia's? Yeah, y'all, when we used to, um, the times that we've come here, we would go to Sylvia's Soul Food, which is somewhere over in this area, um, as well as White Castle, y'all. Oh, used to be my favorite. Where um, I'm born in Indianapolis, Indiana. A lot of my family is there. My mom is born there. Um, and so anyway, I fell in love with White Castle, but of course now we're vegan. They said they have a vegan burger or whatever. Um, we had tried the veggie burger this time we went to Chicago. It was all right, so I don't know. Maybe we'll try it one day if it tastes good. And then here's my favorite store. This is a favorite shop that I shot for Liv Carter. Yes, babe. Mama, not like another meal, like something, a, a healthy snack. How you feel being in front of the Apollo? Uh, <laughs> amazing. It is so awesome being here, y'all. We said one of these days we're going to plan to come when there's uh, something going on, but just to be here is good enough for me, you know, honestly, y'all. Like, this is like, this has just made our trip being in Harlem, y'all. You know, if you know anything or read anything about the Harlem Renaissance, just to know how many amazing African people, African American people um, have come through these streets and come through the Apollo. I mean, it's just... I feel great. What about you, handsome? I was selling babe off camera. I said, if I could have been, if I wasn't born in Houston, H-Town, I feel like Harlem would have been the other H that I would have been born. At. It's mm -hmm. just the energy, the hustle, the spirit, all of that stuff. I just like being here. Yeah. I just feel like going and getting it, you know? Exactly. Can you tell them the story about the name Harlem, babe? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, 
we thought we were having a board at first. So we had this name picked out. So we're only sharing it now because we're, we're done having kids. Yeah. But we said when we thought we were having a boy, we were going to name him Harlem after Harlem. Yeah. But once we found out we were having a girl, we had to switch it up because we had no earthly idea that we were going to have a girl. We thought we'd be the ones to have a boy because uh, all of our uh, siblings that had children at the time, most of them had all girls. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, Harlem, we love it. We love New York. We love the spirit. We would never move here. <laughs> But we love being visiting and we definitely will be back a lot more frequently since we're here in the Hague. <laughs> we, it's a rat colony over here. Babe is too scared to go record for y'all. No, but I don't they play are today. hopping back and forth in a hole over here. Seriously. That is so disgusting. Come on, let's go see this. Hey, y'all playing around. Hey. I'm not. Oh, there you go. There you go. I got it. Oh, that's so mess. disgusting. Y'all are mad. Libby was the one that saw. She's like, there's a red. I'm like, it's a whole colony, y'all. It's several over there. All right, and why are we still over here? A Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Y'all acting like some poor, some tourists right now. We are. We are. <laughs> yeah. People was looking like they looking like. What are they doing? Every time we see a y'all, I, I can't make this up. They're this big, this big, y'all. They look like possums. They do look like possums. Live. Please don't find any more rats for us while we're here. Please. Please. Okay. Alright y'all, we're about to wrap it up for the night. We think we're going to try to make it to Times Square. I don't know. I'm kind of tired. We got a whole day tomorrow, so we might make it happen, but we just were laughing at ourselves about what our dinner is tonight. <laughs> so we're inside of Whole Foods, inside of, uh, in Harlem here, and um, Libby got cantaloupe, that's her dinner, and me and mommy are going to share this uh, strawberry and pineapple combo. So, you know, uh, we're vegans, but we're also very frugal, and so we just didn't want to spend the money. We just got through eating not too long ago at Uptown, and we just, we still, obviously we've been walking a lot, so we wanted to get a quick bite to eat and keep it super healthy at the same time, so pineapples and strawberries it is. So we've ended up back, not back in Times Square, but we ended up accidentally in Times Square. This has been a really hilarious trip. It has been, y'all. We were trying to head home and then our train to the Airbnb ended up um, taking a, a different route. Yeah, they're doing a track, a track replacement. Yes, so we so ended we're up stuck. here. <laughs> so Libby wanted to go to Times Square anyway, y'all. We know we ought to get out behind Spain, seriously. We out so late. It's midnight. Yeah. Oh, look. Uh, uh oh, excuse, excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, babe. Thank you. Oh, this is uh, that building where they do uh, Good Morning America, yeah. I think. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Hey, Mama, this is Times Square. What do you think? You should be turning your life. Yeah. Where's my I mean, it's like yeah. 12 right? mm -hmm. people are still moving around like it's 7 o'clock. That's how it is, Times Square. Next time on Vegans in New York. We're not going to give them, you know, a dollar, two dollars or whatever have you, but it won't be 23.